First time in New York, though. That's crazy. Is this your first time, too? New York? Yeah, I got to take a picture. Hold on. The skyline? Yes, sir. Right, first yeah. paycheck. What you want? What you about to do? You already know it. I'm, I'm finna give my family a, a big house. You know? Moms? You moms. Moms a crib? House. We'll get to have Supreme, have bacon, sausage, and pepperoni. Dang. We are eating New York pizza. Just to be able to have this and be on this level, bro. We're going to the NBA. Man. Bro. The NBA, bro. The scouts were drawn by the intrigue as much as the talent. There to watch Kevin Porter Jr., a potential lottery pick, the one sparking comparisons to one of the NBA's biggest stars. Oh, there's the James Harden look-alike. Just being able to lefty create off the dribble and have that extra uh, that swag to it, you know, the step back, be able to hit that at a high percentage is definitely where the comparison come from. There's oh, that's Kevin Porter. I couldn't ask for a better comparison, honestly. He's unguardable. Whatever the comparisons, Porter Jr.'s path has been his own. In a city obsessed with the game, he took it seriously from the moment he first held a basketball. I remember me just picking up a ball and just dribbling it. And my family was like, oh, because I was so small and I was able to dribble in one hand. My first memory is when his dad took him outside at three and a half. He put that basketball in his hand and Kevin, from there on, kept it in his hand. Kevin Porter Sr. was a lot of things in his life. Very passionate about his family, loyal and committed. A lot of people love him because they've seen him being an athlete. Then there is another side where, you know, streets where I grew up, people know him for that. The neighborhood we've been in is violent. It's scary when you step outside, you don't know what's going to happen. In the summer of 2004, when Kevin Jr. was just four years old, the city's violence changed the Porter family forever. It was a fight. He was trying to break it up, and in the mix of him trying to break it up, he got shot multiple times. He would die in the shooting. Kevin Porter Sr was 30 years old. That night, I just told him that their dad wasn't coming home. I didn't want to believe it. I still was like, he's going to come home. She never really told me, but I could see it. I could see it. Everybody in Seattle was hurt because my dad was known by a lot of people. I'm a junior, so when they hear the junior, they know that's his boy. Having to raise three kids through a series of jobs, Ayana held the family together. She was both of my parents. She had her genuine side, but she had that masculine side too. I had to be mom and dad, and I was a soft one. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I had to learn how to become the muscle. Through all the changes and challenges, one constant remained, the game. And Porter Jr. wanted to play it at one city high school above all others. I wanted to go where my dad went, which was Rainer Beach. He died when I was four. I started playing when I was five. So I feel like this is a way of seeing his boy do his thing. I think it motivates him. I definitely do think that he has somebody he's trying to prove something to. Playing at Rainier Beach, Porter Jr. would become a top 50 national recruit. I just wanted to win as much as I could with Rainer Beach because how much it meant to me. And that was my family. After winning a state championship, Porter Jr. made the decision, leaving Seattle for USC with the highest hopes. I wanted to average 25 and 10. I wanted to be a Pac-12 player of the year. I, like, I had so much high expectations for myself. What a try by Porter! Porter Jr.'s season wouldn't go the way he imagined. A thigh injury would keep him out for nearly eight weeks, followed by a suspension for undisclosed conduct issues. Toughest two months of my life, probably. Everything was just, just crashing for me. Got in like a depressed stage. I didn't know what to do. Like basketball was like an exit to everything. Kevin loves basketball. To see that it could be taken away over whatever the issue was, that you can lose it. 
I think that that's really big. Now I react to things so much differently. And I know it's way easier to channel my emotions and control what I can control. Order. Wow. Order Jr. would return and finish his freshman season with the Trojans. In averaging nine and a half points and four and a half rebounds per game, he flashed enough talent as a shooter and slasher to be projected as a potential lottery pick. And in April, he declared for the NBA draft. I had a goal when I was in middle school, starting as a freshman, which I did, winning a state championship, which I did, going to D1 college, which I did. The very last one was making it to NBA. When Kevin Porter Jr. hears his name called on draft night, he'll be carrying the past as he steps toward his future, honoring his father's memory while making his own history. I'm grateful for having the name I have. Being recognized, that's a junior right there. That's a little KP. I see his dad. He's humbled, he's funny, he's lovable. He's everything his dad was. June 20th, walking on the stage, seeing the flashes, shaking the commissioner's hand. I'm not walking up there alone at all. I'm doing it for my family. <laughs>